Uh, my name is Anatol Ropatov and I'm CEO of Game Inside and we are a global game includer in simulation tycoon and hidden object games across all platforms from social to mobile to desktop. Uh, with over 300 million downloads for those game franchises, we dominate this space pretty much across uh, all continents and territories. We are really excited about a couple of titles. The first one is x Mercs, an excellent turn-based strategy game, free-to-play, uh, coming to iOS, so iPhone and iPad this year. It's going to have clans, uh, chats, PvP instance-based modes, and we really want to set the tone uh, to cross-platform turn-based strategy games. This has been underserved on mobile, so we would like to explode this one. So this is the first one, and we have just announced Cloud Raider Survival. This is Survival Arena, this is a new title in our Cloud Raiders universe that has been already played by over 5 million players out there. And a new game is focused on a genre called Tower Defense, so back a few years ago, Warcraft 3 had an amazing mod, amazing tower defense game where you would control your own character, cast spells, build towers to defend your own base. So we have brought that experience to mobile again. Really hardcore clan-based experiences, tournaments, weekly, daily, even hourly tournaments for both single player and clans. So this is something that we are really passionate about as this is so hardcore that players want to play this right now. Nowadays, it's so hard to launch a new game franchise unless you really tick all the boxes there. If it's eSports, it should have clients, online presence, Twitch, all of the, that experience out there. If it's a new business simulation tycoon game like we do, it has to blow your mind off. So we're building a new 3D gameplay experience like My Country 3D. And then it's all about the brand value and preserving the brand trust. So too many companies throughout the years have lost that by shutting down the titles or sunsetting them too early. One, uh, once millions of players have still, still been playing that. So Game Inside is all about players and we try to push our gamers uh, from platform to platform, from generation to generation. And we think this is the hardest part out there to run at the same pace as uh, platforms evolve. So transitioning your players from social to mobile, nowadays back to desktop, and who knows what else is coming, VR or, or something like that. Game Inside has been a truly global developer from day one. We have created titles that have international appeal. And nowadays with over 300 million downloads out there, oh, most of our players come from US, Europe, then parts of Eastern Europe, and nowadays we're expanding heavily into Asia. We have actually previously launched a few games uh, both in South Korea, on a couple of stores out there, and have seen breakout success in a couple of game genres such as Simulation Tycoon because this genre has never been available in those countries. So we strongly believe if you have a great IP franchise or a game category that hasn't been experienced in gamer, by gamers internationally, you should totally launch it without listening to anyone saying like, hey, uh, people wouldn't like that, or that's really tricky. We did the same thing with a hidden object game called Mystery Manor in Japan, and this game has been top grossing for six months, and this has created and spawned a whole new games category. So I think approaching international expansion, the key there is be really brave, launch new franchises and game genres in, and really explore the market for different opportunities out there. So once you launch a new game experience in a certain region, you have to really explain what it is all about. You have to look how those players will be playing the tutorial of the game type they haven't experienced. Then you have to really culturalize and localize the game with local landmarks, local content, and have top-notch customer support. For example, in Japan, the expectation of customer experience is really different from US. You have to serve those customers first and ask the questions later. In case a player has done something bad, you still have to appeal to him and then figure out how to deal with him. So, so there are so many small touches and differences you have to uh, tackle to be successful in those regions. It's really tricky out there. Game Insight has started as a social games developer. We have pioneered a couple of game genres and then we saw the huge opportunity in mobile. We jumped onto that and we have been the first ones to deliver business simulation tycoon games on mobile. Same happened with hidden object games. So we have jumped from one platform to another. And I think for the last 
five, six years of operation, we have this in our DNA to explore the new opportunities out there. So whenever a new platform comes in, let's say Facebook cross-platform between Canvas and mobile, or Windows Phone and Windows uh, Store on desktop, so we are truly cross-platform and global, and most of our games are available on five, six platforms. So it's really crucial to capture audiences across those platforms so they could easily uh, play. And when a new yearly cycle of mobile platforms comes in, some people will change their phones from Android to iOS or vice versa, and you need to have those unified profile, uh, so players could seamlessly change one device to another and keep playing and retain their progress and keep enjoying those games. We have pioneered cross-platform gaming with many titles from Cloud Raiders to 2020 My Country. In these games you could totally delete the game from your device, install it again and you will be right in there having the same CD, it, it doesn't matter which platform or device it is, you could switch from Windows to Facebook or to mobile and a lot of our games work like that, so Game Inside has over six games which are fully cross-platform and let players to pick up the gameplay style they want to have. If you want to have a deeper experience, go use your huge desktop with monitor and mouse and spend hours on that. If you just want to have a bite-sized experience on mobile phone and maybe play a few times a day, three minutes, uh, kind of shorter session bursts, so you could do that as well. So for us, the biggest challenge is to create the new gameplay experiences that would fit patterns of players both on mobile, social and desktop and make it appealing for all those players out there.